What if you could unlock every stat and metric you'd ever need to analyze a baseball player's performance? All in one place. Well, you can find all of that and more on a site called Baseball Savant, and it's one of the most powerful tools to develop your understanding of baseball analytics today. Whether you're trying to understand stat cast metrics, track a player's trends, or just impress your friends with your deep baseball knowledge, Baseball Savant has it all, and it's completely free. In this video, we'll take you through some of the features of Baseball Savant, show you how to use its tools step by step, and by the end, you'll be ready to analyze players like a pro. First, what is Baseball Savant? Baseball Savant is an advanced stats and analytics website powered by StatCast, MLB's state-of-the-art tracking system. Launched in 2015, it tracks every pitch, swing, and defensive play using radar tracking technology and cameras that we have talked about on this channel before, like TrackMan and Hawkeye. Think of it as Google for baseball stats, but instead of batting averages, it gives you data like exit velocity, barrel rate, expected stats, pitch movement and spin rate, player tracking, and that's all just the tip of the iceberg. Let's dive into how to navigate this site. Baseball Savant has a ton of awesome features. The three most popular features on the site would have to be their player search tool. You can start by typing any player's name into the search bar at the top of the page. Let's use Shohei Otani as an example. You'll see a profile filled with tabs like stat cast metrics, his pitch arsenal, and spray charts. Next would be their leaderboard function. You can click on leaderboards on the top of the page and rank players by metrics like exit velocity, hard hit percentage, or their sprint speed. You can sort by season, position, or any sort of stat type that you can think of. And finally, we have their game feed. You can check out the game feed tab to track live stat cast during or after games. See how far each home run traveled or how fast the outfielder sprinted to make a catch. There's a ton more on this site, so be sure to check it out for yourself. But for the sake of time, we will focus on these three main categories in today's video. Breaking down player data. Baseball Savant's player pages are my favorite section on the whole website. You can do a deep dive into an individual player's stats and see how they've changed over time. Whether you want to see how Kershaw has adapted his pitch usage as his fastball velocity has dropped over his career, or how your favorite hitter stacks up against the rest of the league, this player page has it all. Let's analyze Shohei Otani's profile as an example. The first thing you'll notice is that Shohei's page can be toggled from hitter to pitcher since he plays both sides of the ball. Obviously this is not typical, but it is a great example for our case to see the differences and similarities between the two dashboards. Starting with the hitter page. On the top, you will first see percentile rankings. This will be color-coded percentile bars to show how Otani stacks up against the league. Red equals elite, and blue equals below average. In 2024, Otani was in the 99th percentile for a lot of stats, meaning almost no one was doing as good as him in a collection of these important statistics. These percentiles do a great job showing us how each player compares to the rest of the league each year. A player with a ton of 99s is going to be one of the best in the league, as Otani was last season. In addition to the percentile rankings, you can see Otani's spray chart and his rolling ex-woba for his last 100 plate appearances to see if he is trending up or down at the dish right now. Next, we have our batted ball data. This is displayed by year, but you can jump around from stat cast data to his basic stats by season, or even new bat tracking, running, and hot and cold zones by selecting one of the options from the menu bar below our overview. You can also see here that you're able to select between batting or pitching from this menu. It is more or less going to be a similar layout to the hitters page, so we won't do a full deep dive on that now, but if we click here on the Pitchers tab, you can see a similar percentiles tab here in the middle, but our spray chart is now replaced with a new graphic showing his arm slot and pitch movement information. Your tables below are pretty similar as well, showing any of the stats and metrics broken up by season that you could ever want. Jumping back to our hitters page, you can see that below that first table, we have our pitch breakdown, displayed as both a table and a graph you'll see how pitchers have pitched Otani and how he performs against certain pitch types as well as how frequently he is seeing those different types of pitches. The graph below here shows off another fun part of Baseball Savant. You can customize many of the graphics that are shown on this site to show you exactly what you want to see. Right now, this displays pitch usage against Otani as a hitter by season, but you could change this to any number of things, including what types of pitches he hits for home runs most frequently, 
or the average velocity of those specific pitches that he is facing. The options are nearly endless. The further you go down, the more in-depth your tables get, featuring sections on what type of contact each hitter is making, separating the types of home runs a player has hit from no doubters to doubters, as well as how many home runs that player would have hit if he played all of his games in any specific park in Major League Baseball. So I urge you to dive in and figure out these player pages for yourself. It's a great place to begin learning more about how pitchers and hitters are performing at the highest level of the game and how they're changing over time. Baseball Savant's next most powerful tool is a pretty straightforward one. Leaderboards. You guys are pretty familiar with how a leaderboard works, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, but Baseball Savant has some pretty cool stuff in their leaderboard tab. You can sort by nearly anything. Classic stats, advanced stats, pitch metrics, expected run values, sprint speeds, and a ton more. There are a ton of already built out leaderboards to begin with, but if you're looking to dive into something else more specific, the custom leaderboards page along the right side listed in red is an incredible tool. You can select any stat, metric, year, and sort by any of them to answer any questions you may have. This is a tool that you have to check out for yourself. And finally, we have our Game Feed tab, a super fun thing to have up while watching your favorite team play. You can click into any of these games as they're happening, or in our case, since this video is being posted in the offseason, any game that has been completed, and see a ton of great analytical insights. Inside, you can see win probabilities by inning, every play result alongside stat cast data when applicable, while also showing off leaders of the game for a ton of important categories like furthest hit ball and fastest recorded velocities. Another section that doesn't need a ton of explanation, but a great tool to keep up with when you are watching your favorite team play. Baseball Savant is the best public resource for advanced stats, but here's something that you may not know. MLB teams have their own internal systems modeled exactly after tools just like this one. You can find internal dashboards just like this one showing off whatever an organization deems as important. Of course, that includes important stats and metrics similar to what is shown here, but if one organization values a pitcher's velocity over anything else, they have a team of analysts building out systems that will highlight that for each player in their organization, and even others to help them make decisions when it comes to acquisitions. While it is less common at the college level, here at Penn State, we've built out custom tools similar to Baseball Savant to analyze player performance at deeper levels. Our team of managers has done a phenomenal job creating sites for us to analyze the ever-changing world of baseball analytics to help us stay ahead of the curve when it comes to player development and portal acquisitions. If anyone's interested, we could potentially show off some of those features in a future video. Let me know down in the comments if that's something you'd like to see. By the way, speaking of advanced analytics, have you checked out PitchLogic? It's a smart baseball that connects to your phone, giving you access to metrics like spin rate, velocity, and pitch movement. Perfect for players and analysts looking to step up their game. Get one for yourself in the link at the top of the description. Baseball Savant isn't just a website, it's a game changer for baseball analysis. From identifying breakout stars to predicting slumps, it gives you the tools that were once only available to Major League Baseball teams. Whether you're a fantasy baseball junkie, a coach, or just a fan who loves numbers, Baseball Savant helps you see the game in a whole new way. And Simple Saber Metrics is here to help you understand all of that detailed information that you can gather from advanced sites like these all in one place. So, if you'd like to support Simple Saber Metrics, check out our new merch. You can find it at our website or in the store tab right here on the channel. Every purchase helps us bring you more deep dives into baseball stats and analytics. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, check out the other videos here on the end screen. We've got more content on advanced stats like WOBA, XWOBA, and DRS. Those videos are handpicked to help you keep exploring the numbers behind the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.